Welcome to the Birth IT Podcast. This week we have an interesting debate about Microsoft Office. Is autosave a hindrance or a benefit? If you use autosave, we discuss best practice situations, when to use it and when not to use it. Point one, what is autosave? Autosave is a feature in Word, Excel and PowerPoint to keep saving your documents on a regular basis as the files are changed. Microsoft Office has had autosave available for many years. However, with Office 2016, 19 and Office 365, this becomes an extremely useful tool if used in the right way. However, it's a hindrance if you didn't understand some of the downsides, which we'll explain in point four of this video. Point two, autosave in Office 2013 and earlier. Microsoft updated autosave in Office 2016. And if you have staff on both 2013 and newer versions of Office, you'll end up in a situation where you could end up with duplicate files or files that members of staff can only open in read only view. For this, we recommend you utilize Office 365 so that every member of staff is on the same version of Office and receives the same benefits and features and functionality. Point three, using autosave. In Office 2016 and 19, Autosave will continuously save your files on the computer with a local file on the computer to help restore any recent changes that you want to undo. With Office 365, the changes are stored in either SharePoint or OneDrive. With this, Autosave, you have multiple versions of your files if you need to go back to an edit 12 hours ago, 3 days ago, or 5 minutes ago. You can also open these previous versions and compare them against the current document. If you work with Excel, this could save you a lot of time correcting formulas and values in cells. Point 4. Problems with autosave. If you work with Office documents like Excel, and we have found that formulas linking to other Excel files on SharePoint change from a local address, which is on your computer, like C drive, users, your name, then your documents folder, and then the file name, to an online address like https forward slash forward slash yourcompany.sharepoint.com forward slash document forward slash your file name. This may be a rare problem for many, but it's one to be wary about. Another area to be careful is when you have template documents. For example, when you're calculating a total for a number of products in a table, or you might be doing a calculation based on the number of hours you're going to work on a specific day, or it could be a profit loss chart. If you make changes to the template with autosave on and then close the document, you won't realize that your data that you entered into the document will be available when the next person opens the file. To get around this, you can just switch autosave off in the top left corner of Excel, Word or PowerPoint make the changes to the document and say and you know at the end you'll get the prompt do you want to save this file with a new name or do you want to just close it and discard the changes point five why is autosave genius i'll say that again why is autosave genius when you work on a shared file autosave allows multiple staff to access the same document and work on it at the same time. For a Word document, two or more staff may work on a document simultaneously on different computers 
in the same office or in or at their home or in different countries and as one's entering information the other one's picking up the information close to real time as the files are constantly being saved this is a great benefit with a great internet connection so when you've got a large group of staff for example with an excel file you can see in the top right corner who's opened the file so that you can then see who's making changes and each member of staff in Word would have a different colour on their edits um, as you track your changes. In Excel the cells would be different colour so you know Tony will have purple, Andrew will have green, Catherine will have yellow, Julie will have red and you'll see that who's entering information in a particular cell. With Excel it's even more powerful that if you're keeping a unique record of information, say you've got an ID and then you enter some information next to that ID saying it's company A, the total value of goods is X number of pounds and total number of days that you're working for that customer. As soon as you're entering that information other members of staff could be seeing that in a matter of seconds and as a result you can keep that file up to date throughout the day utilizing of autosave. This feature alone makes it cost effective with Excel so you don't have to bring in a third party solution and it also means that you don't have to be on the phone to staff members saying can you close this document for five minutes while I add some new information and then that member of staff might pop out the office and you don't have access to the computer to save and close the file you can get away from all of these little niggles that used to be the case in the past if you would like to find out more information about Office 365 or Office 2019 and want to look at utilising autosave in your working day with your team feel free to contact us on the number below if you have any questions please drop us an email using the link below or add a comment below for a member of our team to reply to Click on subscribe to find out future videos from our team. Thanks for watching and have a great day.